At the beginning of the story, we see a woman named Diana, whose daughter is in a very bad condition. Because she was born premature. She was in the incubator at the time. She was having a very hard time breathing. That's why Diana was looking at her daughter and was in pain. She was wondering how long her daughter would live in this condition. The scene is cut and after 17 years, we are shown the same girl. The girl's name is Chloe, and she has grown up. She was born before time, so many parts of her body didn't work. She is also an asthma and heart patient. To keep her life normal, Chloe has to take a lot of medicines. Despite all these complications, Chloe is very intelligent. She wanted to take admission in a well-known university. But the university doesn't answer her application. In this, she felt that she would have been rejected from the university. Anyway, we see that Diana, her mom, had just returned home from grocery shopping. Upon coming home, she gets busy with the phone call. And as soon as Chloe opens the bag to take chocolates from the grocery bag, she finds some tablets in it in the name of Diana. Seeing which she gets worried, because her mom didn't use any tablets. Then what happened to her? At night, her mom comes to give her tablets. Chloe notices that she was given the same tablet that came in the name of her mom. She asks Diana that why did these tablets come in your name? Diana replies that it may be the fault of pharma. In this, Chloe quietly takes those medicines. The next morning, Chloe takes out the same medicines from the medicine rack. When she checked this medicine, its formula was written as trioxin. But the strange thing was that this medicine was wrapped with some other medicine wrapper. And seeing this, Chloe now doubts her mom. To find out all the mystery, she quickly searches trioxin on the computer. That is, she searches the formula written on the medicine wrapper. But today, her mom's computer's internet was not working. We see that the internet was actually switched off by Diana, who was still watching her from a distance. At this time, she quietly comes to her room. The next morning, when she sees that her mom is busy in the garden, she quickly goes to her room and gets a number from her mobile phone. The other person who picks up the phone, she tells him, please help me, tell me the formula of a medicine. This is very important to me. On the other side of the phone, the man does the work of Chloe. He tells her that the trioxin formula tablet is often given to heart patients. This is a red colored tablet. But at this time, the tablet in Chloe's hand was green. At this time, she doubts that her mom is doing something wrong with her. She had to find out the real formula of this medicine somehow so that she could know its side effects. So, while thinking something, at dinner time, Diana says, it's been a long time, we haven't gone anywhere. Can we go to the theater to watch a movie? Diana takes her to the theater. When everyone was busy in the movie, Chloe asks Diana for the washroom. But actually, she doesn't go to the washroom, but goes to a pharma company nearby. She gives a medicine to the pharmacist and says that I have to find out about it. What is the tablet of what? And what are its side effects? Pharma refuses to give her the information about this medicine. Because this medicine was taken by the name of her mom. Here, Chloe asks Pharma, actually, my mom is playing a game. She has given me a task to find the formula of this medicine. Please, if you help me, I will win. Hearing this, Pharma searches for it and tells her. Hearing this, Pharma tells her after seeing the medicine, that this medicine is used for dogs. And if a person takes this medicine, he can get paralyzed. After hearing this, Chloe was very scared. Because there was no dog in her house, and her mom had been giving her tablets since childhood. In her search and fear, she also suffered from asthma attack. She was unable to breathe. And at the same time, Diana, her mom, had also come here looking for her. She gives her an injection and makes her unconscious. And then she brings her home. When she came to her senses, she saw that she was locked in her room. While Diana was searching on her computer, she was searching for how can a person be paralyzed. Here, Chloe also wanted to get out of her room. Then she gets an idea that she can open the door of her room from the window of her room. She takes a hot iron rod and pours cold water in her mouth. Then she jumps out of the window. With great difficulty, crawling she reached her mom's room. First, she heats the window with hot iron rod, and then pours cold water on it. In this way, when the window broke, she came to this room. She quickly goes out of this room, and opens the door of her room. It was difficult for her to breathe again. She uses the inhaler kept in this room, and tries to come down the stairs. But she sees that her lift is not working. But she had to go down at any cost. She throws her wheelchair down first, and then falls down the stairs. She was injured a lot at that time but she takes care of herself, and gets out of the house by sitting on the wheelchair again. She was successful in getting out of the house. But who did she ask for help? There was no one around her house. She goes on the road. She hears the sound of a car. Chloe thought it was Diana's car. That's why she hid in the jungle. But actually it was a truck. She stands in front of the truck. 
The truck driver stops the truck. Chloe asks for help. She tells him all the stories, how her mom has been keeping her paralyzed by giving her dogs medicine since childhood. Her life is in danger. She says to this man that I have to go to the police station at any cost. This man listens to her. Before he puts Chloe in his truck, Diana comes from behind. She asks him where are you taking my daughter? He replies that your daughter thinks that you are giving her the wrong medicine. She wants to go to the police station against you. I will help her in this work. Diana was now blown up. Diana explains to him in many ways. She tries to stop him. But when this man doesn't stop, Diana has to use the wrong way. She puts Chloe's injection on this man and takes Chloe home. Once again Chloe has reached that dangerous life. Diana had tied Chloe in her basement with chains. She was also making a medicine so that she can paralyze Chloe forever. Chloe wanted to get out of here at any cost. So she starts looking for some important things in the basement with the help of which she can get out of here. Meanwhile, Chloe finds some important documents here. Chloe finds an offer letter from the university. Her mom hid it here. Chloe is very sad to see this because this was the biggest dream of her life that her mom broke. After a little more searching, Chloe finds the hospital documents, which were in her name. She finds out by looking at the documents that a premature girl named Chloe, who was born 17 years ago, was dead after a few hours. Here was her death certificate. If that girl had been killed then who was Chloe? Chloe finds a cutting of a newspaper in these documents, which had a couple's photo. They were crying because the day Chloe was born in the hospital on the same day, their daughter was born in the same hospital, who was kidnapped from the hospital by someone. After seeing this news, Chloe comes to know that Diana is not her real mom, but her real mom and dad are these people. She wants to get out of here. But how? All the doors are closed. At the same time, Diana comes here. Chloe is scared to see her. She says, stay away from me. I have found that you are not my mom. You kidnapped me from the hospital. I am the daughter of that couple. Diana gets emotional after hearing all this. She says to Chloe, believe me, you are my daughter. I love you very much. I will not give you any medicine from now on. I just want you to stay with me forever. When Chloe misbehaves again with Diana, Diana gets angry. She fills her medicine to paralyze Chloe in a big injection. To save herself, Chloe goes to a wardrobe while crawling. She could not lock the wardrobe. To save herself, she drinks a liquid, which made her unconscious. Diana thought she was dead. Thinking this, Diana's condition got worse. She was crying a lot she really thought Chloe was her daughter. She did not want to send Chloe away from her. She used to give her medicine to paralyze Chloe, so that she does not go to her real parents. When Chloe regained consciousness, she found herself in the hospital. There were doctors around her. Her stomach was being cleaned. When she looked out of the room, Diana was standing there. She must have brought her to the hospital. She gets scared again after seeing her. She calls a nurse standing nearby. She asks for a pen and a paper with a sign on it. She wanted to write something to the nurse. Diana saw this thing outside. Diana knew Chloe would tell the nurse about her. As soon as she knows, she rang the emergency alarm. The hospital was in chaos. Taking advantage of this, she ran away with Chloe. When the nurse came to the room, she saw Chloe was not there. Chloe had asked for a pen and a paper to tell her something. The nurse was going to doubt her mom. She quickly informs the security of the hospital. Diana had brought her to the stairs. Security catches Diana in front of her. Seeing the security, Diana also takes out her gun. She points at the security and says, I just want to take my daughter home. Get out of my way. When Diana does not put her gun down, the security has to attack her with their gun. In this way, one of her shoulders gets injured. Doctors rescue Chloe. It turns out that seven years have passed to this incident. Chloe is now in jail to meet her mom. She was arrested for many years for keeping Chloe paralyzed. We see that Chloe is still on the wheelchair. Despite this, she can walk a few steps. She walks to Diana. She says to her I will be able to walk in a while. After leaving the medicine you gave me, Chloe kept coming to meet Diana after a while. She tells Diana I have completed my studies and got a good job. I am married. I have found my real parents. Diana was listening to her quietly. After this, we see that Chloe has taken out some wrapped tablets from her mouth. The same tablets that Diana gave her all her life to keep her paralyzed. Now Chloe was putting this medicine in her mouth. It was clear that she was taking revenge on Diana, and she doesn't want Diana to ever come out of this jail. The movie ends here by showing this.